Hello, I'm Curtis Mathis, and I will be teaching the engineering pathway at the new East Forsyth High School. The engineering program at East Forsyth High School is based on the premise of leading students through meaningful hands-on experiences using tools and resources to increase their engagement in activities related to engineering. Students will work on real-world design challenges and prepare for placement in local engineering and manufacturing work-based learning opportunities as they progress through the pathway and throughout their high school careers. There are three classes in the engineering pathway. The first is Foundations of Engineering Technology, and then the second course is Engineering Concepts, and finally, Engineering Applications. The Foundations of Engineering and Technology course is the introductory course for engineering technology pathways. The STEM-driven course provides students with an overview of engineering and technology, including different methods used within the engineering design process. Students will demonstrate skills and knowledge they've learned through various hands-on project-based activities while using the engineering process to successfully master the engineering principles. During the course, students will learn how to use tools like computer-aided design, basic hand tools, basic woodworking tools, la laser cutters, welders, and other relevant skills to help enrich their understanding of the processes. They will use the tools within the context of design challenges to gain both an understanding of how the tools and processes are used and how to fabricate tools and artifacts. Engineering Concepts is the second course in the Engineering and Technology Pathway. Students will learn to design technical solutions to engineering problems using a whole systems approach to engineering design. Students will demonstrate the application of mathematical tools, teamwork, and communication skills in solving various design challenges. In the Engineering Concepts course, students will continue using the tools and resources to solve more advanced challenges and identify solutions for problems in our ever-evolving world. Students will gain more experience working through the process of alternative energy projects, me complex mechanical systems, or other design challenges. Students are pushed to apply the process to create items using more advanced fabrication techniques using CNC machines. Engineering Applications is a third course in the Engineering and Technology Pathway. Students will apply the knowledge of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to develop solutions to more complex technological problems. Students will use their understanding of the design cycle to create and present design, marketing, and business plans for their solutions. A capstone project will allow students to demonstrate their depth of knowledge of the process and prepare them for future opportunities in the field of engineering. In addition, students will continue to develop career-ready skills related to engineering. They'll complete training and activities to help prepare for life after high school, including resume building, mock interviews, leadership skill development, and placement and internship opportunities. Technology Student Association, or TSA, is the student organization dedicated to students that are enrolled in the engineering and technology pathway. Georgia TSA chapters prepare students to be successful inventors, designers, problem solvers, and responsible citizens and leaders in our society. East Forsyth High School will host a TSA chapter comprised of every student who chooses to participate in the engineering pathway. Students involved in TSA will have the opportunity to compete in four major conferences throughout each school year, beginning in October with Tech Day at the Georgia National Fair and continuing all the way to the National TSA Conference held in June 2022. Students at East Forsyth High School will have the opportunity to compete in the VEX Robotics V5 EDR platform. Students design and build robots to complete a set of tasks that change every season. The robots they'll work with will fit within an 18-inch cube and have both pre-programmed autonomous routines and a period in the match where drivers control the machine remotely. Some matches will allow students to compete head-to-head, -head, while others provide a chance for teams to show what their robot can accomplish on its own. Students at East Forsyth High School will also have the opportunity to work with an Electrothon race team. Electrothon is a racing program where teams have to design, build, and race a vehicle as far as possible within a one-hour endurance race. Vehicles are purpose-built, electric-powered, and driven by students. Um, 
the cars are constructed to be as aerodynamic as possible and the systems are assembled to reduce energy loss to the highest degree. Um, the Electrothon program at East Forsyth is starting this year learning about the basic design, prototyping, and fabrication techniques with the goal of having a car built for the spring races. Students will use those skills to design and build a vehicle from scratch in the engineering lab. They'll compete in races throughout the state and possibly in races in Florida as they have a high number of Electrothon events. If you're interested in learning more about any of our programs or any of the things that I discussed in this, there are links across the bottom of the presentation that will take you to the pages of our website that discuss these items further. Also, feel free to email me at cmathis at forsyth.k12.ga.us if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you and have a great day.